All right. Um, this question is a little bit, uh, I just want you to use common sense here. Every time, oops. Yeah. All right. Every time that we have made function rules or you've seen function rules, you're never starting with X equals. And the reason why that is the reason why you don't start with X equals is because that's the independent variable. The X is the independent variable. Remember, it's something that we're doing to X to create the dependent variable, which is Y. So you never, um, most likely, these two, the A and B and uh, D, are not going to be your answer because they're not going to start it with X equals. Very rare. Um, but B and C, you could check out. So that's what I would check out first. And I just wanted to go to C first to show you that... Uh, sometimes you know you have to check out more than one so this is c right here y equals x plus four and i'm going to substitute one in for x because that's what the one is it's supposed to be five one plus four is five so that works out now i'm going to go to two and substitute that in two plus four is six and it's supposed to be seven so that does not work out. So you know that that is definitely not going to be your answer. So you could start and cross that out right now. Now I'm going to go to B, and B is Y equals 2X plus 3. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start with 1, and I'm going to substitute that 1 in for X. So it's going to read 2 times 1, which is 2, plus 3 equals 5, and that works out. So that checks out. So now I'm going to go to over to 2, and I'm going to substitute that in. 2 times 2 plus 3. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 3 equals 7. And then 2 times 3, I'm going to go to the next one because that one works. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 3 equals 9. That works. And you could do the same thing with 2 times 4, which is 8 plus 3 equals 11. And that works as well. You know that if it works for all, that's definitely your answer. You didn't even have to check out the x equals because usually... That's not the way it's going to be given to you. It's going to be given to you in the form of y equals and something that you're doing to x um, for the function rule. Okay, so b is your answer.